All right, we're talking about the semi-auto rifles now, and this is with Trish only weapon. So she has this M4 Garand or whatever she called it. I got the skin for it. Looks like a Lego. Uh, the weapon is pretty good actually. It, this relies a lot about not getting hit first because if you get hit, you're gonna get the aim punch. And with this weapon, you can tap. Oh. You can tap with the weapon, of course. It's a precision weapon, so with your distance, you're gonna wanna tap. Uh, you can hold down the weapon as well, but I don't really recommend it. It's it's situational, really situational. If you're really close combat, then maybe. And um, aim down sight. It's pretty accurate. It's really, really accurate. Oh. You don't want to tap too fast though. Like, if you tap too fast, the, aim, the bullets goes up. Not what you want. So, if you prefer hip firing, it works. If you prefer aim down sight, it works. So, a good tap weapon. Spamming it. Not good in aim down sight. You have to like pull down the the weapon or the crosshair. As you can see. It's a tap weapon. So if you're into tapping, you don't like sniper rifle that much, you know, even though sniper rifles are really good currently in this game. Uh, having a semi auto weapon is pretty decent if you really like into you know go into precision weapons. Takes about what four to five bullets to kill. Let's see. Let's have a demo here. She's up there. Try to aim for the hood. It deals more damage, of course. And let's see. Yeah, four to five bullets. So you want to hold your angles because this weapon is not for gun and run. It's more of a stand and shoot. And you want to hold your angles. And then the moment you want to run and gun is when you go stealth. So tapping like that works. But run and gun, no.